Hello, Pisces. I missed you guys. I hope you're doing awesome. So happy Thanksgiving for those of you that are celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow. Um, I hope you spend time with your loved ones. That's awesome. Take some time to you and your loved ones. So Pisces, you want a soulmate reading. That's what we're going to do. We're going to check up on the latest energies uh, on your soulmate journey with your soulmate, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First part of the video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Pisces. What do you be dealing with facing? How to best handle it for your highest good? And how are you doing on this soulmate journey presently? Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whether you're currently in contact with them or not, we're going to ask what's going on with your soulmate. How they are relating to you at this time emotionally and what's on their mind. What are they thinking, feeling, especially in relation to you, Pisces? Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Pisces? What will Pisces be dealing with, facing, and how to best handle it for the highest good? How is Pisces doing on this soulmate journey currently? What's coming towards Pisces? Wow, this is you. Beautiful. So you believe in higher power. This is beautiful. You're very connected with the divine. Very connected. Um, yeah, beautiful. So you understand that the soulmate journey you're on with the person that you're thinking of right now while watching this video is the one for you. You, you feel strong soul connection with this person. This confirms here that the two of you were together in other lifetimes. Um, the star, uh, part of the universe holding your two souls symbolically. So the two of you, even though you may have been experiencing some communication issues with this person or are still uh, having issues with communication, uh, understanding each other, it shows here that the love the two of you feel for each other is uh, divine it's real love um, the two of you have loved each other for eons uh, in other lifetimes and between lifetimes so this is a strong soul bond you have with this person yeah it looks like uh, there hasn't been reciprocity showing uh, in this connection between you two so it's like one is doing the work one is communicating the other one is hesitating not communicating not putting work in yeah you feel frustrated yeah so this is for those of you pisces that are very frustrated with your soulmate relationship right now you feel like walking away uh they haven't been reciprocal no they have not they have not been communicating effectively honestly openly with you and you feel drained you feel tired like you need to walk away from this or at least in the meantime, you, this is you waiting. You've been waiting patiently. You've been waiting for them to put work into this. Yeah, so you've been waiting. Yes, you've been you've been waiting for this person to prove themselves to you. Wow, a lot of you are dealing with Aquarius. Yeah, very strong Aquarius energy, Aries. Scorpio, Pisces also, Virgo. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Pisces. What will Pisces be dealing with, facing? Ooh, I don't think this person is aware they broke your heart. They disappointed you greatly. They may not be aware of it. No. This person broke your heart, hurt you very deeply. Yeah, look at this, heartbreak. You feel heartbroken, betrayed, like your trust was betrayed, like they don't care. They may not be aware of this. Yeah. So for those of you cross-watchers who are involved with the Pisces, no matter what sign you are, uh, if you're not communicating uh, consistently with this person, this person feels betrayed, heartbroken. Yeah, they, they feel betrayed. Yeah. You love this person a lot, Pisces. You love this person a lot. You do. You love this person a lot quietly. Yeah. Quiet love, unspoken love. You wish to have solid relationship with this person, but, you know, 
uh, it has to be both ways. Both people need to work at it. So you are wishing, hoping for this to work out still. Yeah, you see, this is you very much reminiscing about this person, very emotional towards them, loving them. Past life history showing up here. Look at all these emotions, feelings, all these cups, which represent feelings, love, emotions, ace of cups, nine of cups, eight of cups, six of cups, past life history. You're wondering, Pisces, how this person feels about you, what they feel for you. You're trying to heal. This is very powerful combination. You got the star card twice from two different tarot decks. So this is you believing in higher power, being very connected with the divine, with the creator, praying, hoping, wishing. So you feel heartbreak, but it looks like you're healing from this heartbreak. Yeah, this is, you know, healing takes time. So you need to be patient with yourself. You wishing for communication, you're waiting, you've been waiting for communication. Some of you either recently heard from this person or will be hearing from this person. Yeah, communication showing up here. Exchange of information, eight of wands. You see, this is how they've been acting very irresponsibly. So the universe recognizes, you know, the universe doesn't sugarcoat. If there are some things we're not supposed to know in advance for our highest good, the universe will not show it. But when they do show something, it's the truth. So the uh, universe doesn't sugarcoat in these readings. They tell it like it is. So yes, um, that's why you're heartbroken. Uh, yeah, you feel heartbreak because they've been wishy-washy in and out of your life, not consistent, giving you silent treatments, occasional two words here or there, ignoring you. Yeah. This is very irresponsible behavior on their part. Yeah. So for those of you that are cross watchers watching this, be honest with yourself. If you've been behaving this way, um, you need to make this right. And if you haven't been behaving this way, cross watch it. This reading is not about you. Okay. This is you trying to figure out what you should do. Because they've been acting like this very irresponsibly. This is a player energy running around. This is non committal, in and out, wishy washy, not communicating. So you're trying to figure out are they going to grow up or is this always going to continue? You are heartbroken right now, very disappointed, but not really telling anyone, not discussing your true hurt feelings. You're not discussing it with anybody. Yeah, you want to move on with your life. You don't want to feel this heartbreak. You've been through a lot of heartbreak before this person as well. Some kind of failed relationship that was toxic. A betrayal showing up here. So some kind of past person betrayed your trust deeply. Maybe left you for somebody else or cheated with you, uh, on you with numerous people or at least one person. So you don't want to go through the same pain that you've been through. But you're feeling heartbreak from this current person. Look at this. This person is loving you quietly. Um, your present soulmate is loving you quietly, not telling you. Very scared of communicating feelings, emotions. Yeah, tower. So something shaky showing up here. Let's see what's going on with this person. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces. For Pisces, highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Pisces. The soulmate of Pisces. Very strongly you had Virgo show up. So a lot of you are dealing with Virgo, Aquarius, Aries, Universe, Cancerian, Scorpio, Universe, the soulmate of uh, Pisces. The soulmate of Pisces. What is going on with the soulmate of Pisces? And how is the soulmate of Pisces currently relating to Pisces? Oh, one extra wants to come out. Oh, yeah, they have a lot of going on in their life. Look at all this hectic, stressful energy around them. Yeah, they don't know how to communicate feelings, emotions. Yeah, this person is very guarded emotionally. They don't know how to express emotions, especially deep emotions, whether they are positive or negative. 
love or sorrow, pain, heartbreak, happiness. This person doesn't has hard time showing emotions, expressing, verbalizing feelings. This person would like to take a leap of faith with you. They would like to have some kind of beginning with you. So they want to put work into this, but they're not communicating. This shows they are frozen, not taking action right now. Just stand still. Uh, scared. Also, a lot of chaos in their life. A lot of um, stress in their life. This person views you as very important. Soul connection. So, lovers, the two of you were together in other lifetimes. This person wants to be with you in an intimate relationship. Let's see clarification. Some of them may be involved with the law, either are dealing with some kind of judicial case or work with the law, something to do with the law. They may be going through some kind of lawsuit or uh, separation or divorce. Could be anything to do with the law or working for the law, for judicial system or uh, law enforcement, something like that, something to do with the law. Universe, please show us what's going on with the soulmate of Pisces. What What is going on with the soulmate of Pisces? How are they towards Pisces? Ooh, this person has deep regrets. So there were serious mistakes that were made. And they have deep regrets. This person has deep regrets, sadness. Uh, they feel like they lost you or lost your love or affection this person is has a hard job this person's job is very demanding emotionally physically challenging job they have a lot of stress from their job this person wants to come in with some kind of solid offer though but they slow to action this person is extremely slow to action yeah they take their time they don't know they're very confused they daydreaming a lot, trying to figure out what to do, what not to do, what to say. Um, very distracted by a lot of things in their life. This person loves you and wonders how you feel about them. Very attracted to you. Feel very passionate towards you. They feel a lot of attraction towards you. They view you as independent. They also heartbroken. So this person also is dealing with heartbreak from the past. And because they were very deeply hurt in past relationships, uh, they're very cautious, careful how they show love, how they express love, how they enter relationships. This person is going to take their time because they're scared of heartbreak. Um, they haven't fully healed from past heartbreak. They're very cautious, very careful, very slow to action. They view you as a wife or husband material. They view you as somebody attractive, solid, independent, nurturing, caring, giving, loving. So they have a lot of respect for you. Um, this person, yeah, they, they view you highly. Let me see clarification on this lover's card. Let me see. This is very important. Universe, please show us what is going on with the soulmate of Pisces. How is the soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces? See, I was scared of that. So uh, what worries me here, this combination here, Ace of Wands and the lovers, is that this person is willing to have intimate relationship with you. They would be willing to have intimate relationship with you without love or commitment which is disturbing if that's what they're looking for yeah i see they're quiet they're quiet right now quiet not communicating on purpose pondering wondering what to do how to do it how to handle this they have not released you so just because they are quiet or giving you two words here or there or giving you silent treatment doesn't mean they forgot about you uh, don't think about you. This person is not releasing you, not letting you go. Hmm. We're going to go into your extended reading, Pisces, and ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions and plans for you, especially for the week ahead. Then we're going to ask 
what they hiding from you at this time whether they hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you from universe from spirit on how to best handle the summit connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life whether it's your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships Whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.